I was waiting. I was waiting. I was holding on tight. Not sure if we're going to come on. you got to love technical difficulties. Yes, yes. You know? just to remind us of what we're doing right now, which is Live Drink TV. of the Week. Drink Can of I do it? Yes. All right, one, try to get two. Oh, oh, one. One. oh, oh yes, one. One. Oh, oh, oh. This is why I was linebacker in football. I was never quarterback because I was like, there we go. <laughs> The ugly sweater concept, oh, you guys. Love it, it is. Love it, love it. If you didn't know by now, it is drink of the week <clears throat> drink time. Of the week. If you yes. didn't see that long enough, yes. Brett Butler <laughs> is here along with Lauren Johnson. Yes. Okay, introduce us, please, with High West Distillery, but also with Constellation, Constellation Brands. Constellation Absolutely. Brands. Interesting. Yes. And drink of the week. I, I did. I texted my husband this, and he said that is one of my favorite brands. Yeah. Love yeah. to hear. No it's got to be good stuff. No lie. Uh, yes, we're doing a cocktail today called Remember the Alamo. Yeah, the Alamo. Yeah, it's a great, very simple uh, Christmas hot cocktail you can do. It's a hot chocolate base. You want to mm, elaborate a little on Absolutely. what is so great about this hot chocolate mix that you guys can and make at this home, is a, but the they mix make right yeah. yes. Here's a nice little pre prep bottle if you guys kind of want to see what That's it's going to so look cool. like. Um, but we use the Abuelita chocolate discs, I guess you would call them. They're pre formed. They're Mexican chocolate with some brown sugar, cinnamon, and a lot of spices already mm. in there that you need. Um, I just melted them with milk. You could also use packeted hot chocolate. You could use almond milk um, if you've got some dietary restrictions you melt everything together add your booze and you have a cocktail and there you go can do more there's simple. one more ingredient though that's in this what i really dug when i saw this it's got some cayenne pepper yes Is that right? yes oh. i i did a calm down kick. version of that for yeah. everybody's palates but okay. depending on who you're working with you can spice it up or down that's so cool love it i love that and as a mixologist i'm always trying to pair different flavors mm -hmm. and flavor profiles together so if you're getting spicy yeah. you're getting some sweet so that's why I kind of love yeah, it. Yeah, I bet this speaks to you, excited. for sure. Yeah, yeah, it gets me excited. We, Amber, are just pouring some hot chocolate in here okay. from the base, right? And for those of you following at home, if you like the recipe, it's going to be posted. We're talking about six ounces. So I'm just going to guesstimate this. we got to have enough for everybody. So we're going to throw a bunch chocolate. of hot chocolate mm, in like there, the way you think. keeping it hot. <clears throat> super, super yummy. Oh, that smells so good. Let's booze mm -hmm. it up a little Let's bit. Let's do it. So we're going to add some booze. High wide. Uh, sorry, High West Double Rye. Double so Rye. Three times fast. <laughs> Why this? Uh, what I really like about this, and doing a little bit of research, is mm -hmm. we're going to add, as I'm talking, one and a half ounces. Um, we are also going to add a little bit of coffee liqueur. Just one and a half ounces. You guys are at home. You're not going anywhere for the holidays. Sure. One and a half Stand ish. Two. As I always tell people, <laughs> too, when I do cocktail <laughs> classes, I'm like, two ish. Two ish. Uh, and then we're doing a half ounce of coffee liqueur. Oh, yeah. That's basically it. We're going to give mm -hmm. it a store. So, why double rye? What I love about this is they are taking two different types of rye. Uh, they're both aged a minimum of two years. One rye is very botanical, kind of like the way you make gin. Okay. So it's got some botanicals like uh, mint, like rosemary. Uh, it's done in a column still, mm -hmm. which is typically what gin is done in, um, cleans it up. And then the other rye is uh, pot still, and it's going to have uh, some vanilla, it's going to have some caramel, and so it's just a really good, mm. nice, bold, spicy, and also nice a complex. Nice blend of flavors. Blend yes. of flavors. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's the double rye. It's amazing, isn't it? Like what all real the thought process that goes into something yeah. like this, yeah. it's making it perfect. I would say it's like with kind of what we do with mixology. It's it's equal parts, or it's a lot of science yeah. and it's a lot of art and creativity, mm -hmm. and you know how Absolutely. can we pair these things together? And it all comes together for sure. <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Everything's better with whipped cream. Yeah, it? Cody, come over here. I'm gonna throw this in. I got Tessie's ready. He's like, yeah. Um, that's it, guys. It's three That's ingredients. It. It's super yummy. But again, I think it's all about hey, that that hot chocolate mix you guys can make at home. That combination where now you what's have, this here? Oh yeah, we're gonna chocolate. Do some is this is this a, a dark chocolate? Yes. Oh how pretty! Oh, garnish. I love these things. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. That's so pretty. Turn this around, yeah. everybody. Look at look at how pretty. We do a lot of. All right. Fresh Thank you so much, cinnamon, both of you guys. Cinnamon. Yes. This is yes. what you call Christmas in a glass.